Hey, Kevin. Playing pickup sticks? <laughs> no, we're not playing pickup sticks. Sometimes when it comes to marking on a piece of steel, and you want to make a mark so you can like follow it with a plasma cutter, come in with your oxygen acetylene torch, whatever. I know, soapstone, that's been a favorite for years and years and years. I mean, everybody uses that when they're working with steel. But the point always gets dull quickly. And once you make your mark, if you happen to wipe across it with your glove or hit it with your arm, whatever, now that mark's gone. Now you, you can lose that mark really, really easy. Well, there's other options out there that we can look at. They got old Sharpie. I mean, who doesn't love the smell of a Sharpie in the morning? But the problem with a Sharpie, and of course they come in many different colors, so that might help some, is that the tip gets all full of the grit and the dirt and the grease and the what have you, and then it doesn't work anymore. Okay, these are markers for steel. They have, it's kind of like a paint inside, I guess, with a little little rattle ball in there. You gotta shake them up kind of like a spray can. And if you pump it just a little bit, you can kind of pump the paint right up into the marker itself. And that's okay, you know, it, it'll help you know, for really broad marks, you know, for really crude marks. It doesn't give you that fine line that you want when you're going to make a cut, where you need to know I need to be on this side, right up against that line. This is going to give me the piece exactly the size that I need it to, rather than cutting right up the middle of a broad mark and, okay, I'll hope for the best. That doesn't work. This is actually a wax pencil. They use it to make vinyl signs with. They use these to mark on the signs when they're going to lay things out or cut or do whatever. Now, maybe in cooler climates this will work a little better, but I know here in Arizona they'll work fine now because it's only about 55 degrees in here. And it makes a nice, it makes a nice line. Nice sharp line. Not quite as easy to wipe off as soapstone is, but look down here. As long as you use this straight up and down, you're fine. But the minute you get sideways with it, the tip will break right off. It's too, it's too soft. It's too soft for here. During the summer, I don't even get them out because they're so soft you can just squish them. I mean, they're, they're, they're terrible. And don't even use it on a piece of hot steel because they melt. Yeah, Ugly. Okay, those don't work. This is something I just found. I mean, some of you guys probably know all about these. These are Red Rider welder's pencils and Silver Streak welder's pencils. So, yeah, they're red and silver. But they're more like a regular pencil. They're hard like graphite. They don't wear down as fast as the wax does. You can sharpen them in just a regular pencil sharpener. Carry them in your pocket, whatever you need. So the red one. Real sharp line. Real crisp line. This is better for aluminum or stainless because the red will show up better over there. Silver. Hey, now that's a pretty good line right there. And the great thing about these, they don't wipe off. Now we're getting somewhere. And when you look at these with the, uh, when you come in with the plasma cutter and you light the plasma cutter, this line will just about glow. I mean, it's not quite that bright, but it sure shows up nice in the light from the plasma cutter or from the oxygen acetylene. So it gives you a line to follow. I found these over at um, pipefitters.com. You can find them anywhere online, really. Just look for uh, Markall, Silver Streak, or Red Writer. Keep that in mind. Uh, 
Or just go to pipefitter.com and look for them there. That, that was the best price on the internet that I could find. It's something else to keep in your mind, keep in your toolbox, you know. Give you some good lines to work with, less waste, make your life a little bit easier. Well, we're all for that. See you next time.